professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. The red pill F boy. So here's the thing, fam. You got guys out here who are. What would you say? Call themselves red pill, right? You know, but and, and they use the red pill rhetoric or the manosphere rhetoric or the black manosphere rhetoric. And truth be told, these particular guys are just, you know, just F boys who, you know, <laughs> are still trying to get over and now they're using the rhetoric to get over. You was lying, scamming, manipulating you know, hustling before you came across that rhetoric. So now to go, well, see, it's their nature, and I was just doing what they were doing. Look, I ain't going to do nothing. Because I told them, no, player, no, no, no. See, there's a difference between a guy who's, in a, let's just do the dating thing, who's interacting with women. What did Kevin used to say? in good faith and interacting in bad faith. So you guys who are out here interacting in bad faith, you know you are, you're gonna do something foul. And now you, and all the guys who are acting in good faith are like, look, this is why I, I'm saying what I'm saying, because, you know, in this rhetoric, I, I'm one of the guys who was acting in good faith and I got jammed up. You other guys are out here, you know, oh, well, you know, you know, I'm just like you, brother. No, no, you're not just like me. What you are is, you're the guy who now all of a sudden, I got to do extra on a date because of you, fuck. Right? That's who you are. You're the guy who people think, you know, this, this chick thinks she deserves a certain type of guy because you're the kind of guy who, who didn't take care of your quote-unquote responsibilities. And now, I'm red pill, brother. I wouldn't be with a single mother. I wouldn't be a stepdaddy to a kid. You won't be a daddy to your own kid. Bruh, you want somebody to be a stepdaddy to your kid because you don't want them. And, you know, like, because I saw the little clip with the guy with the seven kids with seven women. They didn't. They knew I didn't want to be a father. That's what I told them. If they didn't take the plan B. Bro, you seven times stupid. You did that. You had a baby with seven different females, seven kids with seven different females because you've been running the same game. They was all jump off. It was all just hookups. See, y'all, when, when, when guys say, yo, it's, it's, it's like 15, you know, 15% of guys getting a, a lot of these women pregnant. And, and these guys show up, like the dude who had 30 kids. You know, oh, these my kids. I don't to take my kids. I've got money. Shut up. Because at the end of the day, uh, you know, I'm a real man. Man, get out of here, man. They know I didn't want them kids. So you still going wrong. You still expecting these chicks to take a plan B or, or you pay for an abortion because you can't put a condom on? And but you're gonna still have sex with somebody knowing that you don't want to put a condom on and knowing that you want them to get an abortion or a plan B pill when you have sex with them. Oh, okay. Alright. And you she knew I wasn't no good. Yeah, and that's what the other that's what the guy's been saying. Yeah, you right. She was with you and she knew you wasn't no good, but you was with all these chicks and you knew you wasn't no good. So spare me your speech. Just spare me your speech. I don't care what you got to say. You did it once, that's one thing. But seven times? You got the audacity to, to act like you you, you, on, you know, you actually made a good point when you did something that dumb seven times that we that, that you can count. I ain't going to take care of them. I won't do nothing. I'm going to disappear. Why are you going to disappear and be on the internet? You're not making a point. And I hate to say this, but it's true. Couple of them kids are going to wind up, you know, maybe not doing so well. Couple of them kids going to wind up doing well. And then guess what? You're going to have a change of heart at 
45, 50 years old, you know I was doing, I was just, I was just young and dumb, and I just didn't know what I just want to be in your life, I just, I just, I just love it. Shut up. Y'all cats talking about, look, I'm red pill, I'm aware, I'm this, I'm that. No, you're dumb. You're flat out dumb. That's what that is. It's no getting around it. It's, it's no it's no hiding. It's no cheating. It's, you're just stupid. And the fact that you think you could be this stupid and, and, and somebody actually tell you a good thing. Like, so, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, brother. Brother, nothing. Nothing. Nobody wants to hear that, man. But I appreciate you coming out on camera saying that stupid stuff so your kids can see it. Because when they say, hey, man, this, this, is, this is what you said, right? This who you is, right? And I don't want to hear that. I'll never do that. You a motherfucking lie. You a motherfucking lie. Because guess what? It ain't 10, 15, 20 years yet. In those situations, one of them kids make it to the league. And then daddy on the Because I love you. Shut your face up, man. But, man, you can't be this red pill F boy, man. Cut out, cut it out, man. Cut it out. But, and it's a lot of guys like this, you know. A lot of guys like this, you know. I'm just, I'm talking about these females. Man, shut up. Man, be a man before you get to talk red pill, dog. Shut up. I'm done, man. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.